Hi, I'm going to be um, looking at the Xiaomi robotic vacuum. Um, if you're not familiar with Xiaomi, um, they are a manufacturer of mobile phones, tablets, and other electronic devices. Again, this, this company is based in China. And GearBest has sent me um, this robot um, um, to, to test, test and review. And I'll be showing you the features <clears throat> of this, how it navigates, and the different parts of the robot, just to give you an idea what to expect. And I'll start by showing you um, what's inside. Uh, let me open this this door here that will reveal right here the dust bin. Um, you you will notice that. This robot, this is one of the other sensors. Here, this is the this is the wall sensor here. When it when it it detects for a wall, and if it does, it it maintains a 10 millimeter distance between it itself and the wall for the for the side brush. This is. For the side brush to do the work in picking up um, dirt from the sidewall and and funneling it to the um, to the motorized brush here. This is the motorized brush. As you can see, it has one side 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 brush, and this is the main beater bar here. It cleans. It has a rubber wheels. This is self-adjusting. These rubber wheels and. Um, it has four cliff sensors here, one, two, three, and four. These are cliff sensors, and this is the caster wheel that steers this robot. Pretty much um, standard design for most robot vacuums in the market today. And let me show you the motorized brush. Let me just pop this out. Motorist brush here has has bristles and a squeegee here. This is a similar design to the Nido bot fac. And you can take a look at the link to the review which I'll post in the description below. And this robot has a 5200 mAh lithium ion battery that is rated at 14. Point, I think 14.4 volts and it will run for approximately two and a half hours so this um, it's pretty substantial it's a pretty substantial runtime when you compare it to the Dyson 360i which only has a 45 minute runtime and the uh, Nido um, robotic vacuum um, that only has a um, an R an R and a half runtime. And let's take a look at the um, take a look at the this is the charging base. It's again it, this is similar to the Nido's charge base. Here are the charge pins here. Um, it's really a nice design. Um, this is the back. Um, when you pop this out, pop this open. This is where you store store the cord, so that um, you, it's it's tidier. Um, and what what I like to do with with the rubber band that comes uh, with with this with this is um, I like to tie it up here just to. Um, just to lessen the mess, lessen the the the, cord, the the exposure of cords, so that the robot will not get tangled. So let me just put this back here, and let me just give you a, give you a closer look at the at the.
this is I don't know if you can see this but uh, I'll show you again this is the this is the buttons here on top this is the power button when you press this the bottom weight uh, the robot will turn on and run its default cleaning mode this is the home button when you press this the robot will stop cleaning and go back to the clean uh, to the charging station and let me just show you briefly how the home the home button works as you've heard the past few times this robot this robot software is uh, only room. Let me just move this tripod here. So as you can see it it um it actually scans the room 360 degrees first before 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 moving around. And I've read in Engadget that um, this robot uses the same, um, basically it Xiaomi sourced the, the motor from, from the same supplier that, of, um, from the same supplier of Roomba. So it didn't hold back. It, did, it really didn't hold back. It, it didn't spare any expense when, when when manufacturing this robot. So it has a. It just see this robot. Um, okay. Okay, now it's almost complete. Um, it's almost finished cleaning the perimeter. Now let's see what it does. How it cleans the the central part of the room. You just move this tripod here. You, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, the monitor, but the the LDS sensor on top. See that orange thing in the middle the back part of the, the robot it, it spins it's spinning in the middle 